finishing at 11 30 it's 11 03 right now but i knew that i needed to stop and get gas so i am going to do that i have not eaten breakfast yet because i was gonna go to the gym this morning with Xavier, but he had something for work that's probably gonna go a little longer than we thought so we're just gonna work out later so i just grabbed these roasted garlic triscuits because i don't really have a lot of like snack things that i know fill me up um i grabbed an alani new energy watermelon wave um and then i do have my hydro jug water bottle because i know i'm going to get thirsty i think i'm dashing until 2 30 so um like about three hours give or take some time but i do want to make some good money today this is my first time dashing on a saturday by myself usually Xavier and i do it together so this will be interesting but whenever he gets off work we're just gonna link up and then we'll get twice as much work done because it goes faster when we're together um honestly i loki was thinking that i should make a doordash with me vlog type video so if you would be interested in seeing that be sure to give this video a thumbs up comment below that you want to see a doordash with me vlog and i will get right on that as soon as i get my camera because i do film right now on my phone um i did have like a nikon uh i don't know it, i just bought this camera a couple years ago from target it was like 300 dollars, and it's what i filmed most of my videos on when i first started my youtube channel but um it's just like really bulky and i feel like the quality is not as great so i kind of have just been defaulting to using my iphone because it's easier so as soon as i get my camera um i'll be able to film these videos because i use my phone for doordash so let's go to the gas station get some gas and then i'm just gonna start my dash early because i'm the gas station is right over there down the street and it's not gonna take me 25 minutes to get gas so let's go dreaming about us baby My car's not dirty, but it could use a little clean because I've been shoving garbage in here. I hate to say it. Like, what is this? See, it literally took me like two minutes to get here. Two minutes to pump my gas. So DoorDash gave us these like little hand sanitizers with um, a DoorDash mask. And this smells like actual hand sanitizer. Like the hand sanitizer at Planet Fitness smells disgusting. So I just finished DoorDashing. I did it for like four hours. Um, I made like 70 bucks. So it came out to around 17, 50 an hour, which honestly is not bad, um, especially because it's hella part time and it's just something that I was doing because I had the time. It's about four o'clock right now. Um, whew. So I am going to grab something to eat, make something to eat, I should say, because I'm at home. And then, um, just lay down and relax all right so it is sunday afternoon and it's like 3 20. i'm about to head to the gym right now it's been a very slow day for me um because saturday night was interesting so i just woke up kind of not feeling the best but i still need to head to the gym and then i have some lesson planning to do. I cleaned the kitchen this morning, I made breakfast, so I'm feeling somewhat productive, but this week I am taking on um, week three of student teaching, so I'm gonna be teaching, not observing. So I just wanna prep for that tonight. Um, I've mostly prepped, I, mostly, I have. 
I have prepped for my regular teaching. Um, I planned three weeks ahead, so I didn't have to do anything last week. Didn't have to do um, anything the week before that, but sometime this week I want to get the first couple of weeks of the quarter moving, so I will probably plan um, into February. <sighs> and then Zabie and I are going to door dash, but I definitely move very slow, so we will see. I think we'll probably door dash around 5, so I want to hurry up with my workout, and then I'll do school stuff around like 7 or 8. So yeah, going to the gym. Okay, um, I just left the gym. It's 5.15, but... I didn't start my workout until like 4.20 because Ryan and I were talking, catching up. She was finishing her workout. So we were literally just talking for like 25, 30 minutes. Um, and I just am feeling like super unmotivated lately. I don't know why I had such a good groove going with my 10 week program. And then as soon as it was over and I was trying to start something new, the something new just wasn't following the same structure as my 10 week workout. So I was ready to give it up after literally like four days, but, um, I decided that wasn't really fair and that I should give it, you know, some, like some time, give it a chance. So I'm going to restart it tomorrow with, um, a clear mind make sure that I'm being consistent because I was not super consistent this past week and just you know hitting it hard I'm not gonna give up I'm gonna give it a month so we will see it's just like a mixture of it being a little chaotic for me because it's full body every single day so I'm like smith machine lap pull down like just all over the place and then um, just a lot more cardio than I'm used to doing and then a lot of functional body movements that I do not do <sighs> planks, push-ups, things like that. Um, so it's definitely challenging and it was definitely something that made me want to quit last week. But I'm just going to push through it this week. I'm really, really trying um, my hardest to just get healthy again. So if this is something that I have to do, um, then I'm just going to do it. And then... Um, on top of that, right now, because it's 517, I don't think we're going to DoorDash today. I'm going to actually head to Har Target. I'm going to head to Target because there's one right behind me. Um, and I'm going to try to get a notebook where I can write down my workouts because right now I have them in um, like a PDF on my email. And it's just like, I don't want to keep pulling up my phone and like searching through the day. I just don't want to do that. The program, the live program I was doing, the Whitney Simmons live program, it was built into the app so it was super easy but um when I first started working out I was writing down my workouts in a notebook so I'm just gonna try to double back to that and then I'm gonna grab just some pasta sauce and some peanut butter um I am gonna meal prep tonight so we are going to see how that goes I'm definitely um interested in seeing how this is gonna look uh but I made my lunches all last week and it went well but I lost a lot of time having to make my lunches in the morning and things like that when I was too tired at night so I'm gonna try to meal prep this week um or at least for half the week you know monday through wednesday and then i'll meet myself on wednesday and see and kind of switch it up because i do get bored with eating the same things and then i'm gonna head back home and shower clean up lesson plan for a little bit then i'll cook dinner meal meal prep um and then i will lesson plan the rest I just don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing as far as the lesson plans. So um, that's the only thing I'm kind of like about. But we're going to have a good week. I'm setting the intention today. I believe that the new week starts on the Sunday. So I'm setting the intention that it's going to be a great week. It's uh, third quarter, so I'm officially halfway done with my first year of teaching. And I just am feeling a lot, a lot of opportunity coming my way. So I definitely am gonna make the best of it. And you know, I'm gonna start. I'm, I'm, I'm going to start. And that's, that's what it is, starting. So uh, I'm just gonna head to Target now. Let's go. Tasting so sweet, yet acting so rude. Won't you tell me what I'm so? Of course, the Target dollar spot always gets me and i'm looking at things that i don't need like what do i have in my cart right now two 
Well, okay, so I did get the little um, notebook that I said I needed, but then I also got a calendar for my desk at work that I didn't probably need. But I got it, like, this is the stuff that always gets me. Don't need it, don't even need that. Okay, but these are cute. Oopsie. Oh, those are cute. Like, come on, Target. You know my life. Mesh bags. I'm just going, which I'm sure everybody else in the world is following the same like trends, but I'm going through this like neutral stage. So all of this just like very simple, neutral stuff is just so cute. Like what? I don't even need the shark hat, but it's cute. Oh man. Peanut butter. Dude, peanut butter is expensive. What the heck? Six dollars. Okay, I guess I'm gonna get the Target brand. Because why is this so expensive? All for just regular peanut butter. Um, okay. And then the last thing I for sure came here for was a sauce. So I haven't tried this Target brand of sauce. I guess maybe I can try that. Tomato, basil, and garlic good and then i kind of want to get a white sauce because we do have shrimp that i want to use um, i'm scared to get alfredo like from a store that doesn't even sound good yeah maybe i shouldn't get alfredo from target oh this feels so blue Leaving me on the spot so confused Oh baby Tasting so sweet, I can so rude Alright, literally, every time I try to film like A weekend in my life or a couple days in my life It always turns into an entire week Because I don't do enough on the days that I designate the video to be about but i feel like i do enough in a week if that makes sense it's a snowstorm right now that's why it looks like there's nothing behind me um honestly i went to the gym this morning because i restarted my program and i feel like if you don't start off consistently you're not gonna like consistently stick with it like if that makes sense it was almost like I was being tested, you know? They're like, okay. We can, you know, just stay home because it's a snowstorm. Or you can get your butt out of bed and go clean off your car because your boyfriend's asleep. Otherwise, he would have did it. And, you know, go make these moves. So I did. And fortunately, my car is not terrible in snow. My old car, listen, I think like I talked about it briefly, but I didn't go like too deep into it um, just because I never got around to it. And also, I don't think I was consistently posting, um, but I got a new car in November. I got a 2020 um, Toyota Camry. She's nightshade. She's beautiful. Um, prior to that, I had like a 2001 Chrysler Sebring convertible. So yes, she was cute, but was she reliable? Mm, mm, I mean, it was definitely a summertime car. In the winter though, she could not. And also because it was a convertible, every time it would rain, the water would like kind of slip through the top. I don't know, it was kind of tacky. But I bought her, and she, you know, she did me well. 
but it was time for me to get a big girl car with my big girl job and my big girl life and I'm really really happy with the purchase I love my car I was never much of a driver before and now I do DoorDash that's hilarious mostly because my car like made me want to be a driver you know I love being in my car she still doesn't have a name go ahead and leave a name below if you have a suggestion but anyways right now I just want to vent for a second and of course I will mention this when I like make the video designated to it but I am a little pressed because it is snowing a lot today and I'm not upset that it's snowing because I live in Wisconsin. I was born and raised in Wisconsin. I have never lived anywhere out of Wisconsin, out of the Midwest. Snow is not like the end of the world to me, you know? It's inconvenient. I don't love it, but it's not the end of the world. So, you know, I just have grown up, as I'm sure many people who have grown up in the Midwest or somewhere where there's snow can relate, I've grown up to, if it snows so badly or so much, you're going to have a snow day, right? So for my people who, I'm pretty sure that my demographics are in this area, but just to say that I said it, a snow day for people who are not in areas of snow is basically like there's too much snow to the point where like it's unsafe to travel to school um and i'm not sure if it has anything to do with like um because of the fact that there's boundaries so a lot of neighborhood kids may walk to school um the roads are definitely not good right now <laughs> but because we're in a pandemic everything just has to be 10 times more difficult 10 times more annoying and obnoxious so of course they saw or they anticipated that we were gonna have a snow day yesterday they knew they knew the storm was coming today and so they said you know what we're gonna go virtual tomorrow so if you're new here I teach in person um, yes, we're in a pandemic. Yes, teaching in person was my choice. Somebody had to do it, and I'm a first-year teacher. So I wanted the experience. Yes, it's different. I hate virtual learning. I do not like distance learning at all. Not an exaggeration. Cool. Working at home is cool, whatever, but... I don't always want to be at home and also I don't work in the same city that I live in so I don't always want to go to school for like no with no kids in my classroom but still it's just like the whole idea of a snow day and growing up and like having the day off of school because it's snowed like enjoying the free time with your family is just gone because now they have figured out that it's possible for you to learn in your home so not only do my kids normally have to go to school like regular but they also have to learn from home when it's not it's not a possibility to get to school and i know you're just like okay what's the point you're not missing school days but the thing is they build snow days into the calendar the school year they build that in so I guess I'm just not seeing the point like why are you doing this and then they try to come up with this graphic like uh, these are the different procedures like if it's like this learning a, like regular learning will occur if it's like this there'll be a two-hour delay if it's like this we're gonna just virtually learn at home or if it's like this we're not gonna have school at all so I guess I'm just wondering like do we have to be in the middle of like a huge power outage, like a tornado warning where it's just not safe to even be on the computer? Like what what do you need to get to the fourth one? Because like, I don't know, it's just annoying. I feel like that, that was just one of the things in childhood that I took advantage of. Like, I don't even care, I don't like going outside, but it's just the fact that like having a snow day was just something fun, you know? But now it's like, 
forget your routine, forget the fact that you have, you know, you wake up every day and go to school at a certain time. Tomorrow, you're gonna do something a little different. Your entire schedule is gonna change and you're gonna learn at home. But then the day after that, you're gonna go back to school. Like, what? What sense does that make? You know? Such a rant. I did not mean to rant this long. It's just annoying. So anyways, the whole point of that was to say that I am working from home today because it's a snowstorm. So they said we're going to do virtual learning. On my regular learning, I like start work at 8. My kids come in at about like 8.40, 8.50. You know, we're doing our morning jig and everything virtual learning we start at 8 30 my entire schedule has changed my special time is different my lunch time is different everything is different so we are just expected to constantly be able to change at the drop of a hat you know me saying that I was going to save this for a video a, a different video but needing to get my outlet out now it makes sense. Anyways, 7.47, I'm almost home. I have work at 8 o'clock. Starting class at 8.30 today. And then, uh, you know, just a typical day. I, I think I will film a video today. Um, I have a couple ideas that I could do with just sitting down and actually doing them. I got starbs this morning. Shout out to mom. Mom, if you're watching this video, you probably don't watch my videos anymore because you're kind of fake. Comment on this video if you're my mom. Uh, but my mom sent me a Starbucks gift card this morning. So, I got Starbucks. Alright, peace out. Hey guys. Happy Wednesday. I am headed to work right now. We had a snow day yesterday, so um, we were virtual. Now we're back in person. Um, I'm guessing this is just now a part of my job, being able to work from anywhere, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, it's about 7.45. Um, I, I'm literally viewing today as picking up where we left off uh, Monday because yesterday like we did math like math for what it what it was supposed to be but we were starting a new reading and writing unit um, and I did pre-assessments on Monday so I truly did not even get to start my actual unit yet and I didn't even factor in the pre-assessment so I think today's the first day of my unit technically and then I wonder if I can pull in here or if I should even try it no I'm not gonna try it the snow is just so inconvenient let me see how far I am relax um I think I'm fine so, uh, anyways, yeah, I'm starting a new unit today. I need to start planning for Black History Month and just February in general. Not me spilling hand sanitizer all over the place. I just need to start planning for that stuff right now. Um, I did plan a couple weeks ahead. I know that I mentioned that somewhere. I don't know if I mentioned it on this vlog or just in general. I planned a couple weeks ahead and this week was my last like pre-planned week. So I do need to start thinking about what the next couple of weeks look like. I am taking a half day in February to get my birth control removed, which I can make a whole video about that if you like but um i don't know today it feels like it's going to be a long day which it's really not tomorrow is actually going to be my long day tomorrow i have regular work it's not a rest day for the gym so i have the gym still in the morning regular work after work literally you guys i gotta work at four o'clock i have professional development at 4 30 and then um until 6 30 because I am 
I'm getting my ESL license and in my district we use a curriculum that I'm not familiar with so I'm doing a professional development on that curriculum 4.30 to 6.30 and then tomorrow is my last day of tutoring for the quarter as well. Um, I am taking a break tutoring third quarter just because I really want to focus on student teaching and getting my um, portfolio done and just making sure that I have that extra time to rest because when I'm at work I am hitting the ground running. Like I don't get my prep times anymore. I really have no free time because when uh, my kids are in specials I'm jumping into get my ESL hours which I need 35 hours and I'm supposed to get that in by March which honestly I feel like I'm doing fine I think I'm getting maybe like six hours in a week five or six hours in a week so I'll be done um, mid to late February anyways but I just really wanted to take time to focus on my license so that's what I'm doing in that sense um, so tomorrow's gonna be long today after work I'm gonna go get my lashes filled which honestly they're not that bad right now like they still look kind of full but I think I might transition to volume I started with classic just to kind of get the vibe for lashes and then this right now is hybrid um, and then I think today I'm gonna transition to like volume so full glam I do kind of want to get back into dressing up and I'm thinking about getting back into makeup if you're an OG uh, subscriber, you know that's where I started. I was making Snapchat makeup tutorials and then I decided to make a YouTube channel. But, really exciting you guys, I'm ordering my camera today. I am finally ordering a vlog camera, so say goodbye to the phone for now. But um, I have really big goals for February. January was a lot of holiday hangover for me and kind of trying to get my life together because that's when I started student teaching but um, I've been doing a lot of research I have been listening to a lot of podcasts I have been doing a lot of reading and I'm just really really focused on growing my channel this year so um, I'm going to be taking the necessary steps to do so and really trying to build my brand up so thank you so much for watching this video and following along I'm not ending it here but I just wanted to stop and thank you guys for um, subscribing and taking your time out to watch my weekly vlogs i do want to be more consistent i know everybody says that but that's honestly one of the main factors that i've seen through my research is that um, consistency is really key and it's really what you need for growth um just studying analytics and everything has been it's a lot but i really want to expand um and doing youtube and creating content is really something that I'm super passionate about so I really just want to do it to my full potential and um yeah so I need to get inside I was gonna go to Starbucks this morning after the gym but there's a new smoothie place here that I want to try out and they are closed Mondays and Tuesdays so during my lunch I'm going to drive over there maybe get a smoothie bowl or something I'm not sure yet I was looking at the menu it looks pretty good but yeah I'm gonna head up to my classroom right now so let's go all right, yes, this is an o OTD, but I still have my coat and everything on because I need to show you what shoes I'm wearing. I'm wearing these combat boots, right? I literally walked into the building and I almost slipped twice. Twice! Like, what is going on? It's the wet floors. They're going to be the death of me today. All right, I just wanted to document this moment. Right now, I have in my cart the... Let me show you guys. All right, so I have a Canon PowerShot G7X. Um, this, I read some reviews on it. Obviously, I've heard about it. And um, honestly, everybody just says, like, this is a really good camera to start with when you're vlogging. And then I just have in this memory card. And I'm going to be totally honest. I don't know that this will work with this, but it was suggested. So I highly doubt they would suggest something that they... Um, <laughs> like that wouldn't work together so yeah here we go i'm super excited working on our body language working on our body language baby now tell me exactly how you feel i'm just trying to keep it real let me love you on the inside love you on the inside tell me exactly what you mean you mean everything to me Confused, oh baby, tasting so sweet, I can so rude. Won't you tell me what?
body language working on hey guys happy thursday this is such an unflattering angle as always i look busted crusty in the morning because you know my hair just my hair is just not cute when it's wet you know i have like really thin hair not thin i shouldn't say thin because i've seen some thin hair i don't have thin hair my hair is just like i don't know it's very stringy ramen noodly when it's wet but then like as it air dries it starts to get big and voluptuous and curly and beautiful but this is just a stage that i have to work through every morning and it's like am i just not gonna vlog in the mornings because i don't like the way that i look or am i just gonna grow up because i'm sure i'll have another clip at some point where my hair looks better you know so it's 7 30 this is a bumpy road but this is not my fault hold on i had to take a detour okay that was over so i had to take a detour because one side of the road was closed and it just happened to be the side that I needed to get on. Love that for me. But luckily I have the time today. Usually I'm leaving the gym around this time, 7.30, 7.40. So I literally don't have wiggle room to make all these changes. But today I have the time. So right now, like I said, I'm headed to work. I have a very long day ahead of me and I also have a headache brewing. I can feel it. I have Tylenol in my bag, so I'm just trying to get from point A to point B so I can take it. All right, you hear me? So I can take it. Um, Yeah, today, long. First of all, I went to the gym. I didn't, I, I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't feeling it. I wanted to sleep a little bit longer, um, but the thing is, I slept last night for, um, like, the longest amount of time that I've slept this week. I went to sleep at 10. Usually, I've been going to sleep between, like, 11.30 and 12. So, I fell asleep at 10, and I got seven juicy hours of sleep. Um, but it just seems like the more sleep that I get, like, the more tired I am, you know? Does that make sense? Am I making that up? I don't know. So, went to sleep early woke up wasn't trying to go still went i'm not gonna lie i cut a little bit of things shorter um i did a mile of the bike when i was supposed to do 15 minutes and that only took me about five six minutes so i have just a bank of everything that i don't do or everything that i feel like i'm skipping that i have to do on the weekend because i don't have an excuse so yesterday i did 45 minutes of cardio and i was supposed to do oh did i do 45 or 47 i don't know i did 45 minutes of cardio when i was supposed to do 60. so now i have 15 minutes in my bank and then today like i said i only did like five or six so then now i have an extra 10 minutes thrown on there so basically there was one day this week where i was just lifting i didn't have to do any cardio and at this point i have 15 minutes in my bank which is how much cardio um i set to do four days a week and then one day specifically with just 60 minutes so that will give me the two hours that i need and uh now on that day that i didn't have cardio basically i'm going to have to do cardio so that's cute i so yeah, I did that, and then I left a little bit early just because I really wanted some Starbucks. Got some Starbucks, and here I am. I have a regular full day of work. Um, after work, I have professional development from 4.30 to 6.30. Mind you, I get off at 4 o'clock, 4.30 to 6.30, and then 6.30 to 7, I have my last day of tutoring um, for this quarter, and then I'm taking a break from tutoring and I'm going to pick back up offering services fourth quarter. But because I'm student teaching right now for my ESL license, I just like, I don't want to have days like today where I'm just so busy all day. And then at the end of the night, when I go home, I have to still teach. I just didn't want to do that. So today's my last day. And yeah, so my day will be over around 7.30, which is... 12 hours from now 
I want to edit a little bit. That's why I said 730. I think I'm going to give like 30 minutes of editing and then I'll finish this vlog tomorrow. But the thing is, some days I have common sense and actually edit as the week goes on. But these days, I'm lacking the common sense. So I have not even touched this footage yet. Tomorrow I'm getting my new camera though. So I'm really excited about that. And then... Yeah, I'm just looking looking forward to a weekend of wrist. I got my lashes done yesterday, so I don't even have to do that this weekend. Like, I literally should be able to sleep in and just relax. So, just got to get through today. Fridays are never difficult. They're never difficult for my, for my kids because we're all like, yes, it's a half day. We're, we're going to go. We're going to be successful. And then we're going home. So, they're good with that. I do have a couple things I want to prep, but um, I will have to do that tomorrow because I'm using my prep time these days to student teach. So, I have not gotten any of that. Um, I also have to get a lesson. I just realized, I mean, like, I didn't forget, but I forgot right now when I was telling you all the things I had to do. I need to prep a lesson for today. And I also need to give some feedback on the lesson from yesterday. I'm about to stop at the gas station and grab a little snacky snack for snack time later because I enjoy snack time with my children. We all are snackers and I don't have anything, which reminds me, I need to also go to the store after tutoring. I'm probably going to go to Target after tutoring and get some like little trinket snack things for them for tomorrow because that's how our reward system goes. So yeah, as you can see, my day is full of stress I could order like a target pickup but I like to go in target but that's for my own reasons so I'm gonna run into the gas station and then I'll see you in my classroom all right so I'm in my classroom and I need to find where I put this Tylenol because your girl My little UV bag. Shameless plug. Alright. Tylenol is a lifesaver. It has literally come in clutch. Like every time I need it. What's up these freaking packs? Okay. Do not come for me for opening things with my teeth. I cannot help it. I don't want to do it. Here we go. We're getting somewhere. All right. Two capsules. Oh, my water bottle behind you. love that for me all right and here's to having a better day now literally all from that okay so right now i need to take a look at our zones of regulation lesson today um sometimes when i don't remember which one we're on i just look at the other fifth grade teacher Because she always, she does her planning like virtual. So, today we are doing zones of regulation. Alright, so it looks like we are on lesson 15. Sure. And then the zones of regulation lessons are like just in this book. So what I'll do is I'll open up to 15, 13. Everything to me. Let me love you on the inside. Love you on the inside.
scissors sometimes half of them don't all right so i did that i'm just gonna go make some copies of that and then let's see it's a, a reading list of words and so 3.0 is 50 cents plus 25 cents. Three quarters. Just get these two and one quarters. Twenty-five dollars. Obviously. So what does three quarters equal? Good job. So I just finished my professional development and my tutoring, and now I'm about to head to Target. I'm simply shocked and surprised myself that I'm still making my way there, because <sighs> it's by the gym. So it's about 10 minutes away from my house, and I'm just freaking exhausted. I do have a good amount of things to get, though, like five or six things to get for Zabian, and then some things to get for my classroom. And then, of course, just the regular Target stuff I get. It's so cold out here. When I was at school earlier, they moved recess to indoors because the windshield was like six or nine. I don't know, but it was very cold out. I'm like living in Wisconsin forever this is very normal it's just like every time i don't know why it feels like a surprise like why is it this cold all right guys i just went to target um i was only supposed to get maybe like 50 dollars worth of stuff um ended up spending 240 uh full 260 really if you count the shirt i just ordered in the parking lot from target because they didn't have it but hear me out i got so much cute stuff if i remember to do a haul when i get home i will do a haul when i get home if i do not remember slash if i fall asleep before getting to this point because your girl is exhausted then you can check out some of the key things that I picked up on my Instagram that is at underscore K L E E Y T. Um, I am frequently, frequently, frequently on my stories um, multiple times a week, like a lot. So um, you can definitely check it out there. I am honestly really excited about something specific. So Target has this like black history month um section but it's like all these different brands and all this different um t-shirts and apparel and just so much cool stuff um and it just felt really really nice to see and so um i got zo a couple things i got her three shirts i got her a message in a bottle shirt or mess in a bottle shirt um and that's what i ordered as well but not the same shirt um the shirt that i ordered says angry black woman but angry is crossed out and there's different adjectives underneath it um which i thought was so cool so powerful and i really wanted that um but they didn't have it in the store unfortunately so i ordered online and i should be able to pick it up next week it said um and then her shirt says um something about like racism tried to stop me or racism tried to get me or um something like about how racism tried it um and so i thought that was super cute and then i got her a shirt with just like a black mother and daughter on it and then i got her um a shirt that says um like malcolm harriet um just a bunch of influential black people in history on it so yes i'm gonna post that on my instagram because i'm really really excited about it and then 
um like i said if i remember to haul it i will oh and then i got another shirt for me um and it says young black and educated i think but yeah young educated and black i don't know i just you know i wanted to go crazy it was slim pickings here so hopefully they get more stuff in either that or i just missed my mark and didn't get it quick enough um and then i also grabbed a couple of mailboxes for my kiddos the only thing is that now i have 11 kids and there were 10 <sighs> So I just need to find one more. Probably the Target and Racine, I can grab one. I mean the Target and Kenosha. I don't know why I said Racine. Yeah, the Target and Kenosha might have one. Um, I'm sure that I will be to a, a, a Target sometime before Valentine's Day. But I got them as like little holders for my kids. Um, just in case they write notes or something. And then... I'm trying to think what else I got that was profound. Hmm. Just stuff for my raffle, fun Friday tomorrow. My kids really love snack options, so I got some cool snacks. Um, in my vlog last week, I did not get the snacks and stuff until last minute, so. Or not last week, the week before last week. I didn't get my snacks and stuff until literally the day of, so. Did not want to do all that tomorrow trying to think i really don't think i got anything else crazy i got zoe a bunch of toys i can't help it you know but yeah honestly guys i think i'm just gonna end the vlog here like i said i'll put the target haul on my instagram story but your girl has not even touched editing yet and it's already 9 30 do i have it in me we shall see so if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up Whew, I'm sure I gave you plenty things to comment about. Subscribe if you are not already. And I will see you in the next one with my new camera. You heard me? All right. So rude. Won't you tell me what I'm supposed to do?